yogis, thanks for joining me today. I wanted to take a moment and do a chaturanga checkup. It's something that I like to actually do in my classes um, as often as I can, um, but this is especially important for any of us who are brand new to vinyasa yoga and also really um, what I feel is important even if we've been practicing for a while. And the main reason is because we want to protect our shoulders. And as you know, if you've taken my class, we practice them quite a bit. So um, I like to do this for myself to check in every once in a while, see how my alignment is. And um, I want to practice well into my lifetime, 90s, I'm thinking. <laughs> and so maybe you have the same aspirations, or maybe you just want to make sure that you are practicing them safely regardless of age. So we're going to begin with um, a couple warm-ups. So you can begin seated, you can begin um, on your um, shins or however you feel comfortable. We're first going to begin just by kind of warming up our wrists. So I'm going to turn sideways, but you can stay um, facing your TV <laughs> or computer, whatever you have me on. And we're just going to begin with an inhale, lifting our arms up towards the sky. And then as we exhale, I want to bring our hands back. Palms are facing one another and then just coming back to where it's comfortable. Nothing too crazy. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, arms reach back. Do draw your belly in. Think about your bandhas, even though we aren't super active. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, arms reach back. Again, inhale, arms reach up. And then as we exhale, bring your hands through heart center, just to begin to warm up the shoulders a little bit. Now let's take our hands, palms face the top of our mat. And I want us to keep our wrists in line with our shoulders. So it's as though we're in our high plank pose, right? Like if we were to come down onto our mat and we come down, um, you're gonna see that my wrist should be directly under my shoulders. Okay. So I want us to pretend as though we are in a tabletop pose so your belly is drawing in, crown of the head is reaching up, tailbone is reaching down. Okay. And then with your arms out here, take your um, palms still face forward, big inhale. And then as we exhale, palms now face towards us. Just to begin to warm up the wrists a little bit. Inhale, palms forward. Exhale, palms face us. Fingers pointing down. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, palms down. Okay, now as you inhale, palms come up. Then take your right hand, and as you exhale, palm faces towards you once again. And just gently take your right hand and grab onto your fingertips and just gently begin to assist this stretch. Nothing painful, right? We want it to feel good. Nice breath in. Nice breath out. And then as you inhale, release. Palm faces up. Now your right hand comes back out, wrist directly underneath or out of your shoulder. And then as we exhale, right palm faces in, left hand comes to our right fingertips as we gently find this nice little stretch. Again, nothing crazy, should feel good. Big breath in, soft breath out. Again, inhale, exhale. Beautiful, now as we inhale, both palms face up. And then as we exhale, bringing our hands down. Now actually coming into um, our tabletop pose just to get a little bit deeper. So we've started to warm up a little bit here. And the, the reason behind this is because we normally don't just start off a class in Chaturanga. Haven't done that yet. <laughs> Um, I don't think that I will. It's important to warm up our body. So I just want us to get a little bit warmed up here. So coming into our regular tabletop pose, knees underneath our hips, wrists underneath our shoulders, spreading our fingers nice and wide, and then think about drawing our shoulders down and tailbone towards the back of our mat. Belly pulls and gaze comes down in between our palms. Find your breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now you're going to take your right hand, palm face up. Okay. And you can even walk your knees in a little bit here. And then take your left hand, palm faces up. If this is enough for you, stay right here. I want you to take your fingertips though nice and wide. Find your breath, inhale. Then as you exhale, ever so gently begin to sit back into your seat. You do not need to go far. I mean, literally, you could move a centimeter and this is where you find the stretch. But maybe find a little bit of um, pause here. So inhale. Exhale, you should feel this in your forearms gently maybe. Maybe as you exhale, go a little bit deeper, but you certainly don't need to. I mean, this is plenty as we are. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now as you inhale, take your right hand, plant it palm face down. Left hand, palm face down. Sit back on your heels and just roll your wrists around. Okay, now we're gonna get into a little bit of the action of where we want to be. So uh, chaturangas are um, part of a vinyasa flow and um, as well as ashtanga and um, power vinyasa, power yoga, um, a lot of other practices have it too. So um, we can begin with our arms out, right? So again, as though we're in our high plank pose, find your breath, inhale, engage your belly. And then as you exhale, draw your elbows back towards your body. But notice as I pause here that my elbow is in line with my shoulder and it's a 90 degree angle. I'm not so much concerned if you're more at like a 45 degree angle with your forearm. I want your elbow to be in line with your shoulder. And so I have like this imaginary kind of shelf that I find as my arms pull in towards my body and I just, as soon as like my inner arm reaches this side of my body, I pause. And that is where I kind of find my, um, my chaturanga place, right? My chaturanga alignment. And this comes with practice. Anything um, that's new to us, it may feel a little odd in the beginning. And if, um, you have been practicing your chaturanga in a different way. Um, this may feel odd to you as well as your body begins to get into um, the proper alignment, its muscle memory and that kind of stuff. So have patience with yourself, okay? So again, we're gonna inhale, extend our arms out, but draw your belly in. We want to have a strong core and this is where I'm gonna show some different kind of ways that we can take this. So inhale, arms out. As we exhale, draw your elbows in pause. Look down. Where are you? Have you gone back? Okay. Are your elbows behind your shoulders? If so, draw them forward. Okay. And then obviously we're going to have this, you know, bend in our, in our wrists. That's going to be more pronounced on the floor, but um, inhale arms out, exhale arms in, inhale arms out, my arms are a little low, so lift them up. Then as you exhale, draw back. And it's just to get this feeling, the sensation of where we want our arm to be against our rib cage. Okay, so um, I'm gonna show you the proper alignment for a chaturanga. Okay, so it's our chaturanga dandasana and it's our, um, our eight limb pose here where we are, well, excuse me, four limb pose rather. Um, I'm thinking of a different arm, fun arm balance. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to show you where we want to be with our proper alignment. Okay. So we're going to come into our high plank and you're going to have your heels pressing back. Palms are pressing down into the ground as you open the backside of your heart. Okay, so this is where we have our, um, our four limbs. We have our two hands and we have our two feet and our belly is drawing in. We're in one nice long line of energy here. As we inhale, we're gonna hinge forward and as we exhale, lower halfway down, notice where my body stops. I'm not going low, dipping my chin down to my 
the floor, right? This is getting into our shoulder girdle. So this is what we're wanting to protect. We're wanting to protect our shoulders from dipping down because it's putting too much pressure into our shoulder girdle. And this can be where if you practice and you end up with like kind of shooting pain down your arm, shoulder discomfort, um, usually that's a sign that we need to check in with our chaturanga. Okay? And proper chaturanga um, practice builds our strength for getting into arm balances and into all that fun stuff. So again, let's start. Well, okay. So here, heels are pressing back in our high plank. We're going to inhale, hinge forward, exhale, lower halfway down and pause. Okay. Now, if this is too much for you and you're finding that you're dipping forward um, or you don't feel as though you have the strength yet, here's another option. You're going to drop to your knees. So high plank, drop to your knees, inhale, hinge forward, exhale, lower halfway down. Still draw your belly in. Okay, and this is going to help with um, just kind of building our strength up because we're not using all of our body and then come into our upward facing dog. Okay. Um, and then another option, as I always mention, is to hold high plank because core is very important for chaturanga. But for the alignment part of it, this is where your two blocks are going to come in to play. Okay, so you can set them up. I don't know, there's different ways to set them up. Go ahead and set them up on your mat. And then let's come into our high plank pose. So you're going to want them probably just above your hands. Okay, so come into your high plank pose. You're going to inhale, hinge forward. As you exhale, lower halfway down. If you reach your blocks, you've gone too far. Okay, you can also set them up this way if your arms are a little bit longer. Okay, take them right in front of your fingertips. Come into your high plank pose. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, lower halfway down. Even here, if we've come down, um, we should still be in alignment. So this is going to be your cue. Pause. Okay, maybe lightly hover above them or just lightly rest on them. Um, and again, this is about getting the muscle memory and knowing where to stop. Okay, so blocks are one option. Okay, so again, fingertips to the block. Come into your high plank. Inhale, hinge forward, exhale, lower. Inhale, up into your high plank. Okay, pause for a second. Inhale, hinge forward, exhale, lower, pause. Okay, so that's another good option. And having the blocks there is actually something that you could keep in place to build. Um, maybe you just take, I don't know, a 10 minute sun salutation practice and have the blocks there to help remind you of where you need to be. Um, another great option to practice your chaturangas with is a mirror. I don't have one <laughs> in here. Um, if I set it up, then all the light would probably just reflect back. So um, practicing in front of a mirror is huge because sometimes when we're in our practice and we think we're in the right alignment and then we see ourselves in the mirror and we realize we're all wonky or in a different way, <laughs> it's just a nice reminder. And again, some people are very visual. So we need to see ourselves in front of a mirror because we may think, yeah, I've got it, I've got it. And we look over and we're dipping. Um, I'd rather you be up a little bit out of your chaturanga than too far. Again, build the muscle memory, build the strength, um, and then, you know, alignment is, is very important, especially for wanting to have a very long practice. Option number, I don't know what option we're on now, maybe 10. <laughs> One of the best ways I find um, to get like that support of where to pause, you can pick up a strap. Well, you should have a strap. Um, if you don't happen to have a strap today, this is where the blocks can come in handy. If you don't like straps, don't want to get a strap, stay with the blocks. Here's another option though. Okay. You're going to take your strap and you're going to bring it shoulder distance apart. Okay, so we want to take it around our body and get it in shoulder distance apart. So gonna have to undo my 10 foot strap really fast. 
Okay, there we go. I'm going to start over. Maybe you have a shorter strap at home. Okay, so we take it through. Okay. And this is probably giving you an opportunity also to get yours set up. It all works out the way it's supposed to, right? Okay. So, there we go. So we want it to be shoulder distance apart. So getting it around your elbows, you don't want your elbows out too wide. Okay, so get your strap. And then once you have it on, bring it above your elbows. Okay, and then I'm gonna take mine to where the, you might want the little buckle part to be away from your body. Um, yeah, I actually like that better. So take the buckle part to where it's facing out. And then once you have this, I want you to come back as we started. Inhale, arms out, exhale, draw in. You should notice, okay, that as you draw in, you're gonna feel this shelf and you're gonna notice that you pause, right? So inhale, arms out, exhale, draw in. So now we're going to take this onto our mat. So you're going to come into your high plank pose. And if you need to adjust it at all, if it starts to slip, just tighten it. So coming into our high plank pose, right? Heels are reaching back, shoulders spreading apart. Back of our heart is opening. Okay, inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, lower halfway. Oh, what is this? I'm in my chaturanga hammock. <laughs> <laughs> as you inhale, come into your upward facing dog. So you're going to notice that it catches you, right? So there are so many ways to build ourselves up to get into our alignment. And obviously you're not going to practice with this on you. <laughs> if you can, I guess you could, um, might be a little awkward, so I recommend warming up, getting into your groove with feeling the pause, right? Finding your shelf, using your blocks. And then the strap is just a wonderful way to really tie it all together. This is actually one of the best ways that I um, recommend in the beginning because it really gives you the sensation of where we need to stop. So coming into our high plank again, okay? You getting a little sweaty. <laughs> Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, lower halfway down. Oh, what's that? You can't go any further. Awesome. Don't. <laughs> Inhale. Upward facing dog. And then as you exhale, you can not really press yourself back to down dog because your strap is there. But um, come back into onto your knees and sit back. Okay, so um Let's do this two more times with the strap. And this is something that I recommend, um, especially as we're building our practice, or again, if we um, just realized that our chaturangas, after going through this exercise, if we re uh, recognized that our chaturangas aren't where they should be, um, this is gonna give us an opportunity to bring them to where they need to be. And um, just allow patience, Everything is a process. And the more we practice, the more that this is just gonna become a natural rhythm of getting into our alignment. And I can almost promise you that the more proper alignment we carry with our chaturangas, you're gonna see your practice grow and expand, especially when it comes to arm balances. Arm balances aren't your thing, don't worry about it. This is proper care for our shoulders, proper care for our practice, um, and it's something that's very near and dear to my heart because um, I want you to have a nice and safe practice. So again, Right, because I'm going to be teaching till I'm 90 on YouTube. You got to be here to practice with me. <laughs> All right, it's coming back into our high plank pose. Okay, press the mat away. Draw your belly in. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then as we exhale, just going to come down onto your knees. Okay, and then inhale, arms out. Exhale, draw them in. So off of our mat here. Inhale out. 
exhale, draw them in. Now coming back onto our mat, back into our high plank pose. We're giving ourselves a little bit of a break in between our chaturangas. Okay, so high plank, press the mat away, heels reach towards the back of your mat now. Now as we inhale, hinge forward onto our tippy toes. Exhale, lower halfway down, gazes forward. Inhale, upward facing dog. I shouldn't say forward, I'm sorry, it's still down. And then as you exhale, um, let's actually come back into a high plank pose. Press the mat away, heels back. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, lower halfway down. Gazes down, straight down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, sit down, sit back, release your strap. Okay. So here are quite a few ways to build your chaturangas. So anytime you feel as though you need a chaturanga checkup, please come back to this video, practice. Um, if you have questions, leave comments. I'm always here to guide as much as I can. And um, I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.